Okay, uh, limits video number eight. Let's uh, do this one limit. Limit of six x over four times tangent three x as x approaches zero, right? Is equal simply its limit as x approaches zero of two let's take two from the six outside and the four outside what remains inside is two times the three is six x over tangent three x right which is equal two divided by four is half times limit as three x approaches zero if x approaches zero then three x approaches zero of three x over tangent three x we all know that limit of three limit of tangent u over u as u approaches zero is equal to one uh, and this is the reciprocal of it so it's equal also to one times half the answer is half and that's it why let me just explain because the rule the rule says something else right the rule we have is limit of sine u over u as u tends to zero let me see let me see what is limit right of tangent 3x over 3x first we have x equals 0 this means 3x equals 0 or approaches 0 the same right why this is equal also to 1 it, it's like sine u over u limit of sine u over u as u approaches 0 because we can change right the tangent 3x into sine 3x right over cosine 3x let me write it this way sine 3x divided by cosine 3x is equal to tangent 3x right tangent is sine over cosine and we have here 3x we leave it over here is that true now so 3x remains in the denominator sine 3x over cosine 3x is equal to tangent 3x <clears throat> okay as 3x approaches zero right which is equal limit of 3 as 3x approaches zero of sine 3x over cosine 3x over sorry over 3x right times the limit of 1 over cosine 3x we can leave x approaches 0 here or 3x approaches 0 is the same right because cosine 0 uh, cosine 3 times 0 or cosine 0 is 1 so this is going to be as 1 and the limit of sine 3x over 3x as 3x approaches 0 according to the rule we have is equal also to 1 so that's why the answer is 1 for the tangent 3x over 3x as 3x approaches 0 this means we can directly use it tangent limit of tangent u over u as u approaches 0 is equal to 1 and this is the reciprocal of it so it's equal to 1 also reciprocal of the 1 is 1 so multiplied by half my answer is half right let's do another another one <clears throat> uh, limit those are simple everything related to x approaches infinity is the simpler we can do it the simple way x cube plus 1 over x square plus 1 or we can directly say its limit as x approaches negative infinity since we have infinity we just take the highest exponent with the highest exponent is enough for the infinity so its limit of x as x approaches minus infinity the answer is minus infinity again i will solve it in another way so we can solve it that way to be clear that why we just take x we take x cube common which is the highest exponent it will be one over uh, one one plus one over x cube right over x square common into one plus one over x square which is equal to limit as x approaches minus infinity uh, when we substitute minus infinity this will be one over infinity then it is zero this will be 1 over infinity, then it is 0. And x cubed over x squared, we cancel them. What left is x, so it is the same as this one. So it's equal to minus infinity, done. You can use any way you want. <clears throat> All right, let me choose. Uh, the others are the same. Everything related to plus infinity or minus infinity, highest exponent over highest exponent, and that will be the answer. Let me take this one only. Uh, limit of cosine x minus 1 
over sine x as x approaches 0. <clears throat> this is also simple because we can say it's equal to limit as x approaches 0 of cosine x minus 1 over x over sine x over x. Why I'm doing that? I need to have the limit. I divided the numerator and denominator by the same number. So we can say it's limit as x approaches 0 of cosine x minus 1 over x over limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x. That's we have it as a rule and it's equal to 1. And that's we have as a rule or we proved it already and it will be equal to 0. 0 over 1 equals 0. We can use it directly here. So <clears throat> otherwise we want to prove it by itself. The limit of cosine x minus 1 over x we multiply with cosine x plus 1. Let me let me do it at the, in this uh, time before the time will finish. Okay. We can, we can prove why the limit of cosine x minus 1 over x as x approaches 0 is equal to 0. By multiply, first, if we substitute instead of x its value, which is 0, we, got, we will get uh, that uh, cosine 0 is 1 minus 1 is 0 over 0. 0 over 0 is indeterminate form, so I have to change the form. We multiply with the conjugate of the numerator, right? And that will be equal limit as x approaches 0 of cosine x minus 1 into cosine x plus 1 it's a minus b into a plus b so square the first minus square of the second over x multiplied with cosine x plus 1 so it is equal to limit right limit of what is uh, the limit of cosine x square minus 1 what is cosine x square minus 1 actually it is minus sine x square minus sine uh, uh, minus sine square x i mean over x into cosine x plus 1 as x approaches 0. This, be, beca this is because we have sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1, right? This means that sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cosine squared x and, right, and the <clears throat> uh, sine squared x minus sine squared x is equal to cosine squared x minus 1, right? So, what do we have over here? This is simple, which is equal limit, limit as x approaches 0 of minus sine x over x, leave it alone, times, right, uh, sine x over cosine x plus 1. Okay? Now, what do we have over here? This is equal to minus 1 because we have already minus over here and limit of sine x over s as x approaches 0 is equal to 1 so the answer is minus 1 multiplied with what is the limit we can distribute the limit for this one and for its the, the factor multiplied by it right uh, sine 0 is 0 so we have in the numerator 0 cosine 0 is 1 so it's over 2 the answer is minus 1 times 0 so my final answer is 0 we can prove it this way but we can use it directly. I think so. That's it for this video. And the uh, next video, number nine, I will do some uh, uh, using definitions and uh, some, uh, let's say, uh, using sandwich theorem the other, and other things. All right. See you next video now.